Hey guys, it's Friday, which means that we're back with another furniture flip. Today we're going to be flipping one of the oldest pieces of furniture we have flipped so far, although it won't be the oldest for long because we'll also be restoring this antique dresser in the near future. Today we're going to be flipping this 1930s waterfall dresser. We got this piece for $50 off Marketplace, and to be honest, once we got it in our garage, I felt like maybe we'd paid a bit much for it. It just needed so much work. The veneer was very rough, it was peeling, it was just falling apart, and overall this piece was just gonna require a lot more repair work and restoration than any other pieces we had worked on before. We felt it would be worth it though since we loved the waterfall style and with pieces of this age you just you feel really good about giving them a second life. So of course we got started doing our usual prep work, removing all of the drawers and then removing all of the hardware. Because of the age of this piece, it was definitely going to require a lot more prep work than most pieces. Um, I definitely had to scrub for a long time inside all of these drawers, as well as doing a bit of sanding and a bit of repair to make sure that they were as functional and clean as possible. We were really hoping to keep the natural wood on these drawer fronts here. Unfortunately, they were quite damaged. There was a whole section missing here. A couple of uh, the corners were kind of scraped off. So we were going to attempt to fix the veneer, but we weren't sure exactly how we were going to pull it off. So we were just kind of crossing our fingers at this point. Um, I got started just scrubbing and sanding the interior of the dresser as well as the exterior. The veneer on the sides here was pretty discolored just from age, so we decided we were going to paint the side sections and keep the drawer fronts and the top waterfall natural. We would have loved to restore that second waterfall there, but unfortunately it was peeling so much that we, we didn't think we could save it. Um, I did remove these little decorative pieces on the bottom here since they weren't structural and I didn't think they looked that nice. Like I said, these pieces required a lot more prep work than most, so I was still sanding and cleaning as much as I could just to get them in nice working order before we got started with our next step. So here's the part where we started removing the veneer on that second waterfall. It was definitely sad to see it go, but it was coming off so easy. I barely had to touch it. It was just, it was falling apart and it was ready to go. So overall, I think it was the right choice to remove it since I love the finished look with the paint, but we were a bit sad to have to remove it. So there was a lot of like glue and just little residual pieces of veneer left on here so I made sure to sand it as smooth as possible. Just finished up with a bit of scuff sanding before we could start our paint. So while I was inside working on that, Julian got to work sanding down the drawer fronts. We love the pattern of the wood on these. Art Deco is known for having, you know, exotic wood veneers and just beautiful patterns. So we just loved the look of these drawers here. We ended up ordering a sample pack of veneers and hoping to find a piece to match to fix that section there that was missing. We ended up selecting this one since it had the right wood grain to match all of the little lines in it.
This top drawer had the most beautiful pattern on it. We were in love with that one. Here you can see it while we're giving her a good clean. Look at the wood grain on this piece, just beautiful. Whenever we were working on pieces like this, we love to try to restore as much of the wood as possible. So we got started restoring that um, waterfall on the top here. And look how beautiful she looks after a good sanding and a good clean. And then we got started working on that little missing section. We did end up cutting off a little bit more just so we could get a nice clean shape. And then we used some tape to kind of uh, trace the outline of it to make sure that we could cut just the right size. Here we are just dry fitting it. And then we had to sand down quite a bit before gluing her down. You'll see here that as Julian picks up, it <laughs> split in half, but we were able to get it down just quick enough that it it didn't shift too much and overall it fit very well. So while we left that to dry, it was time to get painting. So because we had removed the veneer on that second waterfall, I figured I would paint it all to match the rest of the piece. And I do feel like that was the best choice since the contrast with the wood and the paint turned out beautiful in the end. Now this is just my first coat, so I'm going in with um, our paintbrush. But when you want to get the, smooth, the smoothest paint on the sides or on a surface here, Fusion Mineral Paint does recommend um, rolling first and then going in with the brush but since this was just my first coat I'm actually just using the brush here so here she is after the first coat and once we were ready for the second coat I gave it a quick scuff sand in between coats and here I am using the roller, like I said, I'm just rolling it on and then going in with the brush at the very end to smooth it all down. And that really gives you the smoothest possible finish. Then we removed our tape before the paint could dry just to make sure we don't get any paint chipping up or peeling off. And here it is once the paint had all dried. Look how smooth and flawless those sides are. Definitely recommend using the roller technique. And this was a little section that we had repaired and we were thrilled with how it turned out. You could barely tell that was there. So we were finally ready to go in with our top coat. Because of the pattern on these drawers, we had to brush the top coat on in a couple different directions to try to match the, um, the wood grain. So it was a little bit tricky to paint it on in all the right directions. Here's that top drawer that we just absolutely love. Look at that wood grain popping through. This drawer had wood grain going in all directions, so we were really just trying to paint it on and match the wood grain as much as possible. And then we could leave them to dry. And here's the part we've all been waiting for, finally restoring that gorgeous waterfall top here. top coat that we're using is an oil-based Verithane and it is a glossy finish and Art Deco pieces are known for their glossy finishes so we knew we wanted to do a very glossy finish on here. Look at that. We ended up doing three coats of this.
And then once that had all dried, we were ready to assemble it. So we ordered some new hardware and went for um, gold hardware because Art Deco pieces are known for their gold accents. So we thought it would just match perfectly with the Art Deco piece. And all that was left to do was to stage. But before we do, let's take a look at what we started with just one last time. And here is that after. Now overall, for being um, the oldest piece of furniture we've ever flipped, we were absolutely obsessed with the finished result on this waterfall dressers really do have a little something special and with a piece as old as this you just feel really good about giving her a second life so that concludes today's video we thank you for watching and make sure to check back next week because we're going to be flipping a second art deco dresser and this piece we are nicknaming it the dresser from hell it really has kicked our butts and tested our patience and our skills so make sure to check back soon for that